straight out to Rita Crosby, investigative journalist and WABC host. Rita, what happened? This is such a wild story, Nancy. Two parents with their two kids who are in the back seat are driving down the street. Suddenly, they get cut off by a guy in a minivan. Then he starts driving erratically. They follow him because they want to get his license plate number and report him to the cops. They end up in a cul-de-sac in a dead end. They block him off. They cut him off so he can't go anywhere. They're starting to write down the license plate number and call the cops. And suddenly, this guy walks up and surprises them, knocks on the driver's side door, and whips out the chainsaw and starts threatening the whole family. Chris Bargo, uh, reporter, DailyMail.com. So I, I, I don't understand. They follow the guy just to get his tag number. He leaps out of the car with a chainsaw, turns it on, and comes toward the family. Right. This man is walking towards these parents with two small children in the back seat, an eight-year-old girl, a five-year-old boy, revving a chainsaw. So Corinne immediately began recording the incident because she thought, if I get him on this camera phone, he'll be scared and he'll go back in the car. It's the exact opposite. He's smiling at the camera. He's making more gestures. The entire time you hear these two small children screaming in the back seat, he, meanwhile, is smiling, making lewd sexual gestures toward the children. And finally, after a minute, he walks back to his car, gets in, hits the family's car, and drives off as if nothing happened.